See if we can find this one. It's a bit miserable today, a bit dark and dingy. But at least it's not wet, wet or raining. Mind you, it's not sunny either. Today is the 8th of November, so not bad for the time of year. My wife, Mrs. Hat, goes to Florida a week tomorrow for 11 days. Oh, have you got a horseshoe? Thank you. See if we can. Let's see if we can find this. It's probably a piece of lead. Oh, hang on. Yes, it's a piece of lead. I don't mind lead. Some lead objects are really nice. Those who've been following me for a while now know that I really like spindle walls and the history of them. And I've got loads and loads and loads of them. But I've not found one for a while. Boom! My first coin, George the third penny. And Paul is over there and he's not shouted anything yet, so I guess he's not found anything. But I'm happy with that. I'm not sure I can make a coin ring out of that though. Well, another penny, that's Edward the Seventh. I might be able to make a coin ring from that. Yes, I might. We'll have to see what happens. I'll try, if nothing else turns up. Uh, just a piece of old pressed copper. Some nice decoration on the top, three holes, and I'm not sure what that could have been, but let's see what I can do with that. Oh yes, that was a good hole. I found some silver. It's a bit knackered, and you can just see the maker's mark, WD, on that end. I've no idea what it was. It's got many layers to it, look. Hey, look at that. I've unfolded that and it's come out really nice and it's got a hole mark and the maker's mark. Can't read it. I'll get a photograph and put it on screen. And Paul reckons his machine now will detect a farthing up to his ankles. <laughs> no, I've never said that. No, up to your ankles? That's, huh? that's deep. Up to my ankles? <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll go a lot deeper than the macro races. Yeah, he said he found the penny today and it was up to his chest. Yeah. Oh, he got a couple of coins as well. That's a horse head. It's a horse head? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Well done. It's obvious. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's have a quick round up what Paul's got. I'll do mine when, <laughs> when I get Let home. Let me get rid of rubbish first. No, no, I see your rubbish. Huh? Last time you said you found 20 coins. And you hadn't. You got about five. When you got yours out. When you got yours out, I didn't want to embarrass you on film. Yeah, right, OK. So I, just, I left half of them in my pocket. Well, the viewers can check now what you've actually got, because uh, your, your <sighs> machine is two, not as good as you Two say. pen knives. I've had to dig everything today, haven't I? Of course you have, learning your new machine. I think that's my good bucket. Yep, that's, that's all he's found, then. Today, horse's head, two coins, something or other. He's dug lots of rubbish because he's been learning the machine, so... Clog clasp, yeah. huge horse buckle, harness buckle. And four. Um, four. 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 Horseshoes. Four horseshoes. Four horseshoes. Where's there a horse still attached? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Pardon his language. Yeah. Because I know that's going on film. Yeah. But I'll have some. <laughs> It'll have some Laura Hardy theme tune behind it. Clippity clock. Clippity clock. Yeah. <laughs> he's so what a, have you found then? He's a great guy. Oh, I found the... Well, let's see what I found. Two bits of silver. God, what's still going on about that? That's the find of the day. Is it? Yeah. Now, I found that too. Now, I don't know what it is, apart from that it's pressed. It's a bit of metal. Yeah, it's pressed copper. Because it's pressed, it's no older than Victorian. 
but it might have a meaning for something. I might better make something out of that. Mini sculpture. You watch. Okay, I'll work. And some bits and pieces. A couple of pennies and a buckle. That's it. Not much, then, eh? Not much. Mm. No. We need to find a better field. Well, we've got lots to explore. Yeah. That one we were in over there, there's about six other fields that are joining it. You tell they're his because all the gates are open and the cows are at the top. <laughs> right. Oh, is there another field behind that one, then? Several. Yeah. Oh, is there... Another one over there and about five. There's one over there and about five over there. Right. Bye, Paul. I'm off to have a bacon sandwich with red sauce. Oh, God. Brown sauce. Red. Brown. Red. Bye. Red. Let's quickly do a pick a winner now and see who's won a coin ring. Here's the results of the coin ring winner giveaway from my last video. Well done. To be in with a chance for the next draw, make sure you're a subscriber, leave a thumbs up, and you comment on this video with the hashtag coin ring giveaway. Good luck. TikTok, your